Fitness is a big part of my life, and I've learned that it needs to be regular, a discipline we need to do, especially on the days when we're not in the mood and don't have a lot of energy. And like physical fitness, our spiritual fitness is something we tend to put off. But regular time alone with God is essential in getting to know Him. I wrote my new book of 365 devotions right from the heart to serve as a spiritual warm-up. It's not a substitute for talking with God through prayer and listening to God through the study of His Word. It's a supplement to get the spiritual juices flowing. I pray that the Lord will bless you through each day's message. May these thoughts give you a hunger to know Him. And most of all, I hope they'll connect you with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Meeting with God is a way to have a meaningful and abundant eternal life. Some common questions people ask about quiet time. Number one. With all the stresses of life, how do I make time daily for a quiet time? Well, there's never time for a daily quiet time. As a pastor, I sure don't have enough time for a quiet time. But I have to ask God for a hunger to know Him and a hunger to spend time with Him. Then it becomes the most important appointment of my day. I keep daily lists, and number one on my daily appointment list is time alone with God. I encourage you to do the same. Number two, by using Right From The Heart, what would a daily quiet time look like? I decided to write these devotions short and easy to understand because people really are pressed for time. So first, ask God to open your mind and heart, read the scripture reference, maybe reread it again, then read the devotion for the day and let it sink in. Don't be tempted to read ahead. Just one a day will give you a fresh food for thought and get your spiritual juices flowing and then ask God for a special time with Him through prayer and Bible study. I hope in the process that you get to hear from God.